Today's video is going to be about Prince Harry versus the um, MGN Group, which is the uh, Mirror Group newspapers. And those are the uh, Sunday Mirror, the Daily Mirror, the Sunday People tabloids. And what's happened is uh, they say there's been some illegal interference. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, it seems like what's happened is now, I'm gonna read off a paper here, is that Harry and more than 100 actors, sports stars, celebrities, and others are suing the Mirror Group newspapers, MGN, publisher of the Daily Mirror, the Sunday Mirror, the Sunday People tabloids, and they're saying that those journalists, if you wanna call them journalists, or the private investigators, uh, phone hacked on an industrial scale uh, and obtained private details by deception. They say senior editors and executives knew and approved. Senior editors and executives knew and approved of the behavior uh, between 1991 and 2011. So that's what the video will be about. Harry's success and maybe the celebrities too. Let's see what happens. Prince Harry and all those celebrities suing uh, MGN Group, the uh, Mirror Group of all those uh, tabloid rags in the UK. Rupert Murdoch affiliates, I guess. Well, if not affiliates, uh, own papers. A little out of breath. I just ran up the stairs to come do this video. So, uh, yeah, let's see what what the cards can tell us. Sophie calls 06. Thank you so much for asking about this. And uh, yeah, we want to know, how is he going to come out against MGN? You know, there's hundreds of celebrities that are suing the same thing. They say that uh, the MGN group of newspapers uh, hacked their phones, detain, uh, uh, obtained information about these celebrities uh, through deception for years, 91 through 2011. And the executives and the upper people knew, encouraged, uh, paid for... Uh, this sort of uh, information and all of you believed it so let's see what the cards can say about Prince Harry's suit but of course before we do any of that let's have just a moment of meditation Prince Harry. Uh, let's do two three cards and then a six card draw. So the three card draw is first going to be about Prince Harry. The next three card is going to be about MGM Group. And then the uh, six card draw will be uh, about the case progress. So three cards, Prince Harry, three cards only. Prince Harry um, as it relates to this MGM, MGN, MGN Group, the uh, Daily Mirror. Oh, I've got a wipe my nose so let's see how this goes it's a little there's pollen here where i am i'm more sensitive to it because i'm not from this region even though i've been here seven years i'm just quite not still completely acclimatized plus climate change is bringing about different things um uh pollinating at, at an odd time of the year but uh, back to the cards uh, prince harry and this lawsuit against mgn three cards one Two and three. Prince Harry, M G N. Let's see what we've got here. First card, the chariot. Okay, this is things moving at a rapid pace. Interesting. This is the first card out for this situation with uh, Prince Harry and the M G N group. Second card up is the hermit. This is introspection. This is thinking about a thing. This is really studying before you make a move forward, shining a light, being sure of your footing. Okay. 
And then the last card, Prince Harry against the MGN group, is the Three of Wands long-term plans. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. You see the three wands right here, and you see this person really getting ready to turn around and look into the future. So I'm gonna say that, yeah, this looks like it's gonna be favorable for Harry, probably those other celebs too. So um, things are moving at a rapid pace for this sort of thing. Uh, it involved a lot of introspection and making sure that each step was exactly in the right uh, place. And uh, But it is a long-term plan, so it is something that will take time to play out. Although the, so I would guess that maybe the decision is coming down. It's very carefully considered and um, judgment, I'm gonna say is a long-term plan. Or maybe the payment of judgment. So MGN group, three cards for MGN group. What can the cards tell us about MGN? Are they guilty? MGN, are they guilty? Simple, three cards. One, you know that's the Rupert Murdoch uh, situation, MGN group, all kinds of gossip rags. First card, are they guilty? Ooh, the hanged man, I think they're hung. But looking at things from another perspective, okay, is another thing. So they've been looking, listening, getting information from a perspective that wasn't the norm. And I think also we could say literally the hangman, they're going to get hung. So this is a very valuable card in this little three card draw on MGN, Are They Guilty? The second card up is the Three of Coins. Uh, the Three of Coins is a broken heart. Okay, coins are actions, uh, or I'm sorry, or value or money. I think it's money in this case. Three of Coins is a broken heart for MGN Group. And then the third one up here is the Eight of Swords, Feeling Tied Up and Bound, MGN Group. Now the Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules and Law. So this is going to feel for MGN like they are tied up and bound. But as we all know about the Eight of Swords, this person can wiggle free of those binds. So that's why it's going to be a long-term plan. Are they guilty? Yeah, they're guilty. Uh, they're guilty for looking at getting information from uh, different alternative ways. That's the hangman looking at things from another perspective. And also I think it means they're hung. Um, the uh, Three of, uh, of Coins, oh, that's not a broken heart. The three of coins, let me get my street, because anytime I misread, then my, my mind just gets stuck on uh, what uh, that should actually be. Three of pentacles. Three of pentacles, then, is more practicing that uh, that that craft a bit. Not, not like the eight of pentacles, but yeah, getting things uh, down right. So it's not a broken heart, I'm sorry, but they're really watching uh, their money to make sure they get this thing uh, appropriated properly. And that's the odd number. The three in all of the suits is always a transitional kind of a, a lookout kind of a card. And then the final uh, a card here for this little three card draw, the Eight of Swords feeling bound up, but they're not really. They're not really bound up completely by truth, justice, rules of law. They're hampered, they're inhibited, and uh, they may or may not see this, this certain way to get out of some of this. That's what you would expect of large corporation. Now, six cards for the whole situation with Prince Harry, the celebrities, and MGN groups. Uh, six cards, that'll be a dyadic cross to see what can the cards tell us about uh, this uh, lawsuit. It's not just being brought by uh, Prince Harry, he's joined the group of all these other celebrities. And so I think that's pretty significant. My. Uh, conscious mind tells me so six cards and remember if you like these cards I'm going to talk about them in a little bit towards the end of this video and show you more of them so uh, six cards two three and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe please like and um, let me know um, what you'd like me to uh, deal with in the comments but most importantly if you subscribe it makes all the difference in the world and it shows me who's watching which videos and that determines what videos I'll make uh, I'll make videos on. First card for the situation. Just ran up the stairs, had to make a break here because someone was at the door. <laughs> out of breath again. So, uh, Queen of Coins. <sighs> it's interesting. So, coins we know is money and it's value. And the Queen of Coins is, you know, she's not the King of Coins, but she certainly has um, power, she has influence. 
And it's interesting that in this card, she has kind of an overturned cup in her lap, but this, the, the idea is about coins. So there's significant feminine energy around this, I would say. Challenge to that signifier card is the Six of Cups. Cups are compassion, emotion. And the Six of Cups is remembering when things were simpler. Okay. Huh. This is MGN Group. They're going to have an awful lot of say about their value, their money. And uh, But the challenge of it is they're going to be you know, remembering when it was easy for them to get away with what they were getting away with. And it was such a personal situation. The base of the line of the whole reading then is the five of coins. The five of coins, the baseline value, money, is being felt like you're being left out in the cold. MGN Group is going to be felt like feeling like they're being left out in the cold. So there's punishment. The past of this is the King of Wands. Okay, this is very good. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The King is very powerful. And this is in the past. So he, the King has made this action. He's made this plan. It's done. It's in the past. Uh, this has to be, uh, you know, judgment. And then the sky of this reading is, <laughs> of course it is, it's the devil and it's ill intentions. And it's what all of this was always about, always, were uh, malevolent uh, intent. intent. So very interesting. And then the final outcome with MGN Group is death. <laughs> death doesn't always mean death, but it's the end of a cycle. So I think this is going to put an end to their uh, shenanigans if it hasn't already. And uh, But I'm going to tell you, these ends, always something else is going to start up over that. So as soon as this end, it gets some distance on it, you better keep watching this group or these um, because this behavior can start again very easily. So uh, the six cards about MGN group, queen of coins, they're very much in charge of what's going on with a very feminine energy, compassionate energy towards themselves. And they're, but they're being challenged by, you know, the way things were in the past when they could get away with this behavior. The baseline of this whole thing is the five of coins feeling left out in the cold, which they are left out in the cold, and coins is value, so they are left out in the cold. And in the past of this is the king of wands making the plans, getting this thing done. Those plans have been made, and that's why we're at where we are today, because justice has found a way to address this, because it was all about the devil, lesser intentions, being tied to lesser intentions, feeding the public uh, the gossip that they want to hear. And the final outcome is the death card, which I think is certainly an end of a cycle. There's always a beginning of something else after that. And with this group, it's not going to be an honorable beginning, but it will start again. There'll be a respite from it. That's what I said. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.